Hot. Hot. One. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hot. What's up YouTubers? It's your girl Chrissy Chin. So today I am doing a DIY mink lashes at home. So here is the before and after. Went from straight naked mole rat on the before to it looked like something on the after. So let's get right into it. Okay, so these are all of the materials that you'll be needing to do your DIY mink lashes at home. Everything here is from Amazon. I'll put all the links down in the description box below. So starting from left to right, first is the Ardell Mink Lash Glue, and nope, it does not burn at all. Next is the handheld air conditioning fan. Above that is a two pack of tweezers. It's Box Grove Beauty on Amazon. Again, the link will be down in the description box. Last is two different lash trays of Fad Lash Minks. And okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I did not use the right lash trays in this video it is the right lash trays like the curl pattern is right c and then it is supposed to be 8 to 14 and then 15 to 20 however i did not use the easy fan um lashes so you definitely need to search easy fan so that it forms a fan as soon as you peel it off the tray so this pack that you see here i had to create my own fans during this video but i got the hang of it eventually but yeah make sure you get easy fan and i will definitely put the link for easy fan in the description box also okay so let's get right into it so you're gonna need something to put your glue on so i just used an old lash tray so just put a little tip of glue because it will start to dry okay so clearly i couldn't decide which lash to use as an example so i decided to use 20 because i actually do not use 20 on my lashes so you're gonna take maybe seven to ten lashes and you're gonna pull that off of the strip to form the fan so once you pull it you'll see that it just sticks together and forms a fan by itself so just pull there you go perfect fan so you see that the bottom is stuck together and you're just gonna position it correctly And now you're just gonna dip it in the glue. Now make sure you just get only the tip of it in the glue. And then you're gonna wipe off the bottom because you don't actually need any glue on the bottom of the lash because the lash is going underneath your lashes. So if you could picture that, you'll understand. So I'm gonna do another example again with the 20 length and I'm gonna get seven to 10 lashes, pull it straight off of the strip and you see it forms a perfect fan once again. And it was a little piece hanging so I just took it off and I just positioned it correctly or more comfortable in the tweezers and as you can see, it is a perfect fan, beautiful. So now I'm just gonna dip it one more time in the glue so you can see dip only the tip and then you're gonna wipe off the bottom don't need that at all and there you go perfect fan with glue and you're ready to put it on your lash before I start I wanted to show you the order of the links that I did so that you'll know take a screenshot if you need to all right, so boom. So you have the glue on the lash already. Remember, you're going up under the lash. So you're just gonna let the lash attach to your lash. It's just gonna attach like magnet. And just as soon as it attaches, let go of your tweezers, okay? And you're just gonna position it in the right direction. Make sure everything is good. Okay, so you wanna start fanning right away. Hold on, I wanna know what song I'm listening to. Of course, it's Donia. So anyways, I'm gonna do it one more time in regular speed. So you're just gonna let it attach to your lash like a magnet. Start fanning it right away. 
and make sure it's positioned correctly. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up a bit because hopefully by now you got the hang of it and hold up, pause. My hair was laid right here. Do you see those edges? Okay, but anyways, yeah. So it's sped up, it's pretty self-explanatory by now and I'll let you see. Um, I do start from the inner corner and then you'll see that I go to the outer corner. So inner corner on both eyes and then outer corner, you'll see. Dang, be your thirsty eye. I was trying to see if y'all caught the water dripping. Yep, y'all did. Okay, back to regular programming. Starting with length 19, remember I'm on the outer corner, so that's the longest, longest, wow, what's happening with my tongue? That's the longest length. So I did this one in regular speed, so you can see how I did it. You gotta position it right, because it'll start to kind of lean. So yeah, sped up, here we go. Okay, I had to pause right here again because this girl laid my hair like, wow. Wow, my eyes look kind of pretty right here. Okay, bye. So really quickly, after the two corners, I start in the middle so that I could just basically fill it in. So it makes it easier for me. So inner corners, outer corners, middle, and then just start filling it in. Trust me, it works easier that way. For me, at least. So the ending is completely up to you. You're gonna stop when you feel like it's full enough. I like mine between natural to full. So I'm done now and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Why did I get up? Like I was too hyped clearly. Why am I even dancing? <laughs> okay, I'm embarrassing myself. So here is the ending. I love it and it is beautiful. Girl, I'm showing y'all my edges and everything. <laughs> Okay, here's the side view, front view, and who are you? I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.